So here in Microsoft Sway, it is very to work with groups of images and choose different layouts to be displayed in the design view. So to do that, I'm just going to press on this plus icon to insert a content and I'm going to go to group. And there are different ways on how you can show up your uh, images right here. There's automatic, grid, comparison, stack and slide so. So it is not necessary that you choose the one that you want right in the beginning because you can interchange them later on as well. So I'm just going to choose grid for the startup and then but we're going to change that out later on. So over here, once I open up the grid, you can see that grid is here and I can go around here and then change around the group type by clicking on over here as well. And the group type can be changed um, over here from the side as well. So let me just close this out and add a content first. So let me just click on add content and here you can add in text, image, you can upload it out and video as well. But in this lesson, we're going to look at image in specific. So let me just click on image right over here. And then what we can do is we can set for different images. So I'm just going to go and select an image from right over here, like food. So I'm just going to select multiple images. So I can click and drag this out right here, just like that. And that's the one image. I can click and drag it out. That's the other image. Click and drag it, click and drag it, and so forth. I can also add in caption right here, but I'm just going to add in one, two, three, four, just like this. Drag it in, and there you go. Just like that, I have images. For each of these images, I can uh, work around with the caption. I can add in links, numbered, and I can work around with focus points for each one of them, just like that. So now, uh, after all of this, just like that, what we can do is we can work around with its options. So if I were to go to design, this is how the image is being displayed. It's being displayed as a group of images, group of five images, as you can see. So if you want to change the outlook of the image, you can just go back onto the storyline, just like this, and then choose a different group. So if I were to click over here, and then if I were to go on to, let's say, for example, group type, I can change that into automatic and let's see what happens. So once I choose automatic here, you don't see any changes here. But if we were to go to design, this is how it looks like. So it's an automatic layout with everything stacked in order just like that. So once you go on to group type to stack, this is how it seems. So now it's more like a stack. So once you click on it, it actually flips over just like that, as you can see. And it's like a series of pictures. If you go to go storyline and go into group type of the stack, there's grid, the first one that we chose. And if we were to do that, it's grid again. And you can click on this and see how that looks as well. If we were to click on play, this is how it looks like, as you can see. So this is the picture. Once you click on it, you can also navigate through them just like that. And that is how it works out just like that. So I'm just going to go around over here on the back just like that. So I'm just going to go around and let me just go back onto my sways, get back onto uh, the stack view. So if I were to change from grid, I'm just going to go around into group type. I can go to slideshow as well. So if I were to go to design, now this is much more like a slideshow view. So yeah, as you can click on this, it works like a slideshow. So let me just go to storyline again and go to group type. So this is another type of slide. So again, so if I were to go to design, this is another type of slide. So just like this. So there are different images. So if I were to play and preview this out, now you can see that this is the type of the slide. So that you have. So let me just go back onto the storyline and choose another type of group. So go to group type and this is another type of slide. So again, go to design. And once you play on this, you can see that this is the type of uh, display that is going on. So you can go around here just like that. And that's the type of slide. So right there. So that's for that's the caption right there. So let me just go back again. And over here, you can see that that is how you can work like. So you can emphasize this. You can make this really big. And on the design field, it'll be bigger as well, just like that. So you can emphasize this out, really make it big as you can see, or you can go for like a medium level of emphasis, just like that. So it actually changes in size, or you can go back to the default as well. So you can add as many pictures as you want right over here and then work around with it. Uh, uh, but if you want the, all of the cards as individual cards, again, you can simply ungroup this out and that's how it works just like that. 
And how, what if you want to regroup again? Let's say I want to regroup group these three. So I, I simply click on these right here and I can group these out. So three of them are grouped. I can make them a stack and I can make two of them. So select these out right here, just like this, and then group it out again. And I can turn it out into, let's say, for example, a slide. So, so if I were to go into design now, you can see both are there. So there's slide. So, and there's stacks of images right here. So that is how you can work around with image groups and choose group types and group and ungroup images inside of Swiss, uh, Sway document. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.